Hello guys, Crisp here and welcome back to another Sunday video. In this one, my friends, we're going to be testing a small PC. You know, it's not a mini PC like this one. This is the Minis Forum TH50 that I already tested in the channel. And it was actually very impressive, especially for its size. What she said. <laughs> but today I'm gonna test something a little bit uh, bigger here. It's still kind of a small PC, right? And as you can see, we got a mini ITX system right here. The motherboard is very small, but it's a normal form factor, you know, it's not like the other one. So in this system, I have a Core i3 fourth generation, the 4160, with Intel HD 4400 and 16 gigabytes of RAM and also an SSD at the back. I'm gonna show you actually. Yeah, it has these weird things, by the way. I, I don't really like that, but it's so you can uh, place it on a table, for example. I'm gonna show you some B-roll of that. It also has one at the bottom. It's actually so the power supply can get a little bit of air flow. Oh boy, am I breaking it? No, I am not. So we got a 480 gigabyte SSD from Kingston right there. And unfortunately, that's about it for the storage. Although the motherboard actually has a couple of SATA ports, SATA, SATA, so whatever. The SFX power supply doesn't have any more SATA cables. And also, if you're wondering, I got a very special package right there to test next Sunday, guys. I'm really excited about it. Actually, we'll post an unboxing of that in the second second channel this week, so stay tuned in for that second channel link in the description. Let's move on to the desktop and see what the Intel HD 4400 can do in 2022, shall we? Here we go now, Intel HD graphics 4400 showing up there in MSI after burner, as well as tech power-ups GPU-Z right there. You can see all of its specs right here, driver date is September 2016, and I couldn't install any more recent drivers, it always gets Gave me an error, so these are probably the latest. Over in CPU Z, you can see the i3 4160 and the motherboard that we're running, as well as the memory, dual channel, 16 gigabytes at 1600 megahertz, which is double that uh, right there. And over on the left, yeah, that's about it. We already went through that. Let's go to the first game. And first up is CSGO, which is kind of adequate for a GPU or iGPU like this, I believe. 800 by 600 using the lowest settings as you can see all right i was hoping for a 60 plus fps experience in this one all of the time you know uh well i guess we are actually cpu bound very interesting the i3 4160 it can't really keep up with its own integrated graphics in csgo these days I remember the days when a CPU like this could actually get you 300 frames per second in CSGO, guys. I mean, what a shame. We're doing fine, actually. This feels responsive. It feels smooth. It actually feels more responsive than when I'm playing with, like, a GT710 or GT730. Even though when I'm playing with those, the FPS are uh, higher. And that happens because when I'm playing with those lower-end GPUs, I'm usually GPU-bound. GPU usage is at 99% all of the time. And here, it is not. So it actually reduces input lag by a lot and it makes you play better. As you can clearly see, I'm, be I'm doing better than usual, I believe. Especially with these FPS. Oof. What did I hear, by the way? I heard somebody, like, shooting at me. I that was weird. Anyways, maybe a sound bug or something. I hate this crosshair, by the way. Really bad one, but... Well, I just installed the game. <laughs> the only thing I changed was sensitivity and the settings, of course, for a smoother experience. And, oh, wait, oh, yes, oh, yes. Okay, there we go. See that, guys? <laughs> what do you want? I don't have input lag, so I can kill everybody. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, wait, can I get that kill? Wait a second. That's a, an AFK guy. Ah, <laughs> nice. Ah! Okay, we're good. So yeah, even though the 1% lows are below 60, this feels very good. It actually does. I could play the game all day long like this. I could actually reach a competitive-ish uh, rank, you know, like DMG or maybe LAM or something like that. Yes, let's teach these guys a lesson with the AWP. Intel HD 4400. I am actually enjoying this a lot. What are you shooting? What the hell? That was so weird. <laughs> he missed everything. 
There we go. A little flick of the wrist. I guess in CSGO, input lag actually plays a bigger factor than uh, no input, well, <laughs> than uh, FPS. Sometimes I forget what I'm about to say, guys. It's it's because I'm benchmarking here. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. <laughs> No, no. Oh, it's bot. It's a bot. I. Come over here. Come over here. There it is. There it is. Whoa! I missed. Are you kidding me? <laughs> All right, let's go with this. There it is. Oh my God! It has motion blur. Why does this have motion blur? So this is Rust at 800 by 600 res, and I set everything to off and the lowest settings possible. I wish we could use the LSS, by the way. <laughs> Render scaling is set to 50% as well, so it means that we're playing at 400 by 300. Oh, I forgot to disable all of these. <laughs> all right, now everything is turned off, as you can see. So we can proceed to play the game properly. It looks terrible. GPU is maxed out in this one, thankfully. The CPU isn't a bottleneck at 40 FPS in Rust. Um, and it's it's a really bad experience just because of the graphics. You know, we can probably play at a higher resolution. It will probably drop from 30, but at this point, I think I would take even like 25 plus FPS instead of this, guys, because... Again, this looks terrible. Drops into the higher 20s in forest areas. Also, the, the shadows are having a seizure. Hopefully none of you are having a seizure, actually. I will put a warning. Anyways, let's do 100% resolution scaling. So this is full native 800 by 600 and it's definitely not a good idea because... Ah, it drops from 20 frames per second, guys. I was honestly thinking that this would get higher FPS. Because Rust at really low graphics usually isn't too intensive. And the 710 can actually play it at 720p. So I thought this was going to be better, but it isn't. What matters is you can actually launch Rust. So if you want to play with your friends, I guess you can be their cooker. Also, it took like 15 minutes to join a match or a server. <laughs> right, it's PUBG now. I think I am not gonna last long in this one. That's what I said when... So we're playing at 720p resolution, 70% render scaling using the very low settings. I think this is 504p resolution, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, the input lag! No, no, no. I actually thought it was gonna be better inside of the game because usually the menu is more intensive in this one. But just look at this input lag, guys. Oh, it's insane. <laughs> at least looking at the ground, we can get cinematic 24 FPS. And looking at the sky, a smooth 30. Wow. That is do. <laughs> no, let's let's just let's move on. What the hell is that even? What is happening with the menu? Time for the best game ever, GTA 5, because well, it's where Jack is. So 800 by 600 DirectX 10 API using the lowest settings. I did not remove the shadows in the config files, by the way. And uh, will you look at that? It seems like it's gonna be pretty decent. 30 FPS, that's not bad whatsoever. Actually, this time we should go with a blue car. I'm gonna try to find a blue car. Okay, wait. Oh, this, this barely turns. The other car is much better. Anyways, guys, this is quite nice, but I really expected better coming from the i3. I mean, it's like it's bottlenecking its own graphics again in GTA 5. And I remember playing with a similar i3 to this one uh, with a GTX 750 Ti, and it could deliver like 60 FPS. So, uh... We should definitely take a look at the CPU separately with a stronger card um, later on in the week, maybe. Also, why are there no blue cars in this game? I'm just noticing it now. Where are the blue cars at? All right, let's try not to hit anybody. I think today is the day that I'm going to be successful at this. Ah! Almost. I didn't see the guy. It's nighttime. He was wearing black. So, well, Michael is wearing sunglasses, right? Yes. So it's nighttime to him. Doesn't matter. We don't only hit one person. That's that's great. Is this blue, by the way? No, this that's purple. 
what the hell? I can find a purple car faster than a blue car in this game. Oh, there it is. There it is. I want that. Let's Thank go. you very much, what? kind sir. I know you heard me, and that's why you can... <laughs> is he dead? Oh, we lost the door already. <laughs> well, <laughs> that, car, that guy doesn't care at all. Nobody cares. They just keep... <laughs> running over him oh my gosh interesting very interesting these npcs also jack's hill not dropping fps guys that means that it's probably jacqueline there i know what i'm yeah. having for dinner yeah it's jacqueline guys that's why we didn't drop fps so my theory is correct whenever jack is there we get lower fps damn it no i'm just kidding guys in direct text 10 it doesn't really matter too much the grass is not that intensive and even inside of bushes what happened there <laughs> damn inside of bushes it doesn't drop as you can see aside from that huge stutter that came out of nowhere goodbye bob hope you're dead in hell yes time for stutter night we're playing this at the 720p resolution 50 percent 3d resolution which means that we're playing at 360p and using the low settings and performance mode oh my god every time i i go to the map it has a huge stutter that's that's really bad but hey at least it's running i mean what is that 14 fp ah. I don't know, guys. This is really bad. <laughs> At least while dropping. Hopefully down there it's going to be better. So I, I was thinking of going to Tilted Towers, but it's not going to happen. 20-something FPS going to Tilted Towers. That's, that's really terrible. I still think the CPU is not the bottleneck here in the system. It could be like the, the VRAM, for example, or the bad Intel drivers. We've seen that with the Intel XE as well. Uh, yeah, VRAM bandwidth, maybe... Anyways, out here, it's okay. It's playable, I guess. It's not too bad. You could actually hit some shots and stuff. Maybe I can do something, like hit those balloons, for example. Yes. See that, guys? Pro plays. <laughs> All right. I really feel like I'm just going to die instantly when I see somebody. But hey, at least we are in sort of a demanding area here. So that's great. There's a tank. Of course there's a tank. <laughs> That's it. Not doing anything else to it. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, no, wait, wait, buddy, buddy, no, let me, let me, ah! <laughs> it was low HP, wasn't it? Well, I suck at this game, especially with these FPS. Well, FPS were good, but the stability is terrible here. Dota 2 is next 720p resolution using the lowest settings, 100% render scaling. And oh, do we have a team fight breaking out right here? I'm not sure. Probably not. Who the heck is this? Oh, of course. I haven't played Dota 2 since this guy came in. I have never seen him, actually. <laughs> so it seems like it is an all right experience, right? 70s and 80s at times. It might drop and it will probably drop with effects and stuff. And the best thing is, it is 720p resolution. It's not like 800 by 600 ugly graphics. This will look okay on like a 768p monitor or something like that. Not too bad. Look at that, all of the effects. 69 on average, perfect stuff. <laughs> it seems like it only drops into like the 50s, maybe 40s. Okay, 30s. This is exactly what I wanted to see. 20s. I, I didn't want to see 20s, but I wanted to see Faceless Void's Ultimate because it is totally broken in these older GPUs, guys. It can only be, right? It was working absolutely flawlessly up until this guy threw his Ultimate out and wrecked our frame rate. Now, there is a workaround to this. You can ban him every time you play a game. Overwatch is next. <laughs> That was... I'm sorry. Uh, so we're playing it at 720p using lowest settings, 50% render scaling. It is actually all right. It's around 60 frames. So the game actually suggested some decent settings here to stay around 60 FPS in a competitive title. It's not too bad. I mean, this is not the hardest game to play. You don't really need all the FPS in the world, unless you are competitive, of course. But if you are competitive... Well, you should probably upgrade your PC if you have these specs. <laughs> okay, it's been a really long time since I have played this, guys. Oh my god, it's dropping so much. I'm just randomly... Oh, it's just... Oh, great. Okay, we're doing something. <laughs> I, I, I was clicking random buttons there. <laughs> like shift and stuff. 
All right, I'm just gonna break that thing. Thank you. All right, so 40s, 40s still okay. I mean, I'm still hitting the shots. There are some heroes that, uh, that don't really require any precision whatsoever either. So yeah, still playable, still decent. Let's kill this guy, good stuff. They can't leave their spawns. I think this is the best Overwatch game that I've ever had so far. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Uh, come on. All right. It's pretty nice, actually. Everything is happening here. So we can see the FPS dropping. Oh, boy. Oh, this is bad. Okay, I'm just I'm just going to go now. Let's go. Get out of here. Get out. Oh, my gosh. It's dropping so much now. Okay, somebody heal me, please. No. All right, we're going to die now. It's our time to die. Look at that. The perfect hero for low FPS, guys. It's Mercy. No, no, oh boy. Okay, people, don't you die on me. Don't you die on me. Look back, look back, please. Back there. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm dead. Rocket League is a game that you might think runs well on Intel HD graphics, but look at that. That's terrible, actually, for a game like this. So we're playing it at 720p using everything set to the most highest performance setting. This uh, effect, it, uh, yes, let's just set that to low as well. All right, here we go. Oh, oh no, I'm helping the other team already. The game just started. <laughs> oh, I'm so bad at this. I am the worst Rocket League player ever, guys. I can't play this game whatsoever. Just gonna stay here, maybe. It's a good idea. No? You know what? Let's help. Oh, no, wrong button. Guys, from my team, I am truly sorry. I am truly sorry. Okay, I, I really don't want to, to be doing this, this. I hate this game. I hate playing it. I just, uh, I feel so useless. <laughs> this isn't even 720p, by the way. I don't know wh what resolution it is. It's not like 360p either, it's higher than that, I can tell you. Uh, but yeah, it is using some render resolution at the minimum that this game supports. You could also drop the resolution to achieve higher FPS if you need that. I almost I shot on goal. Look at that, first time it ever happened with me. <laughs> Wait, oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's let's stop it, it's, it's already cringy enough. Okay, th that's enough Rocket League for today. Valorant is actually playable. Kind of. It drops from 60, but it is decent, right? So 720p using lowest settings, of course. And uh, maybe the HD 4000 also did a good job here in Valorant, but I, I just don't remember just it. It was a long time ago. This is also one of the more intensive maps. There we go. That's nice. Camping bastard, what are you doing there? Maybe he's just spawned here. Hey, hey, get wrecked, boy. Get wrecked. Where are they? I hear the steps. Good. Oh, we're actually doing great so far, but I think I will suck in this game because <laughs> you can clearly tell that this is not running well uh, when it drops from 60 frames per second. It's just, it's, it's, isn't smooth. It's super inconsistent, actually. Okay, there it is. No! What are you doing here? I just killed you, right? Wasn't this this guy that I killed? Oh, okay, yeah. we're good. <laughs> nice. Uh, what else? No, oh, there he is. Okay. Oh, massive stutter there. Hey, we're not doing as bad as I thought, actually. Sometimes I have really high FPS and I can't do anything here in the Valorant. But today, maybe it put us against people with Intel HD graphics as well. Oops. Nice. There we go. I'm liking this. Not for a competitive person, obviously, but you can actually have a little bit of fun in this game. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should just tap, tap, tap instead of trying to control it. I'm coming! Oh, oh, everybody's dead. I want to go back. <laughs> no. What are you camping there, Cabanas? Please. Man, you are probably Portuguese. Portuguese people don't camp, all right? Only if it's in uh, the Aljubarrota battle with the, the square tactic, you know? That, that's a good strategy. Camping was the best strategy there, but not here. What the? Oh, I'm gonna die. Okay, not gonna be the last kill. Our last kills. Yes, 
So there it is. 74 FPS average. Better than I expected, honestly. And now Minecraft. This is actually Java Edition version 1.16.5 using Optifine. And these are the settings. There are a ton of settings, so let's quickly go through them. 720p res. And uh, yeah, feel free to pause the video if you really want to take a look at everything else. Uh, no shaders, by the way. Let's go. As you can see, it is actually really damn good. Even though the GPU is not maxed out here, we're getting very high FPS and this is a pretty nice experience. It still stutters a lot, but that's the nature of Minecraft loading those chunks and stuff. Uh, but considering that we are in a forest area and we're seeing 100 FPS at times, that's pretty damn good, guys. Oh, look at what I found. A perfect place for a jack. So let's try to find that bastard. Now let's spawn the real jack here. No, I, I meant the real jack. Oh my god, that's so cute! Holy crap, I didn't know that there were tiny cats in this one. The real Jack! That's what I... The real... I don't care, guys. I don't... These, these are the cutest. Oh my gosh. Oh! <laughs> they don't die because they're cats. You know, they have nine lives, so... Oh my gosh, there are tons of them! All of the colors as well! This is amazing! There's Jack, by the way! Jack! How are it going? And Jacqueline right there. I went to Baby Jack now. Come on. Baby Jack. Baby Jacqueline is here. Baby Jack. Get over here, Baby Jack. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is perfect. Oh, not a Jack there. Oh my. Baby Jack. We made it. There are two of them. So many, actually. Guys, this is a perfect day. This is the happiest day of my life. Look at this. Look at the sounds. This is awesome. This is the best game ever. <laughs> now let's explode with all of them. Where is the TNT? There it is. TNT everywhere. No, I'm just kidding, guys. I'm going to go far away from here. Okay, there we go. Yeah, GPU users doesn't go up. <laughs> basically rainbow six siege is next and we're playing it at the 720p resolution using the lowest settings possible and that means that the render scaling is set to 25 and we're playing the game at 360p effectively let's go all right i am actually glad i didn't get into an online match because i would ruin everything for my team if i was playing there well it actually gets 30 ish sometimes very rarely when staring at wolves basically yeah it is pretty bad especially for a competitive shooter like this one and with these drops you know it's not really that playable guys props to the developers though because it is running at 360p resolution and it looks way better than that holy crap 15 fp 14 <laughs> looking at all of the characters here that's terrible actually oh my god it even drops from that okay yeah, you, should, you shouldn't you should play Rainbow Six with Intel HD graphics, okay? And now Battlefield 4 at 720p, low settings. All right. Ooh, we're gonna die. We're, oh, I don't have a bazooka. Okay, let's start counting our frames. As you can see, this is quite playable, actually, guys. I joined Siege of Shanghai previously. The game actually said it had 60 players, but it had like five, so I joined this one instead. It still drops from 30, as you could see there, 29. It's it's not terrible. I actually played Battlefield 4 back in the days uh, in the beta. Jesus, what the hell? Anyways, oh my god, what the heck? I just spawned in the helicopter that exploded. I played the beta of this game at 25 FPS locked, so this would have been a much better experience at 35 frames per second average. I think it is playable. You might want to drop the resolution scale a little bit maybe to like 80 percent or so it will look very pixelated but at least it uh, will get 30 plus no matter what 26 there hmm. so let's set it to 80 percent here as i said and look at that looking at the entire map 40s not bad of course down there it's actually a little bit more intensive so let's go there hopefully not get killed I can't really see anybody, honestly, <laughs> especially at this resolution. Uh, but yeah, you, you can actually get used to it, as you can see. 40s instead of like 30s and lower 30s. Yeah, it's not too bad, is it? It's playable. 
It's okay. When I tested the Intel HD 4000, it was in Battlefield 3 and it was, I believe, at 800 by 600 res. There we go, first kill, finally. Oh, please don't spot me. And I got around the same FPS as these, so this is actually nice in BF4. Yeah, you can have a little bit of fun in this one for sure. Let me just try to get that one. Yes, we're doing it. Apex Legends is next. Oh my god, it's terrible, guys. I set it to 800 by 600 in the launch options, although it still says 1024 by 768. It's actually at the lower resolution and it's at the lowest settings possible. Of course, this is not good. Not good whatsoever. Not even going to the most intensive area, which is the waterfall. Oh, what is happening? Oh my god, it can't render some things. <laughs> <laughs> That's new. I've never seen that happen before. Oh, what the heck? This little thing. Oh, it's so it's so difficult to to load that thing. <laughs> Wow, that's so interesting. <laughs> it's always these little things. Oh, it looks so weird as well, by the way. Anyways, <laughs> this is absolutely amazing. All right, let's start counting our FPS. And it is in the 20s, so obviously really bad for Apex Legends. Let's see what else is blinking here, shall we? What the hell? It's always like... Some weird things. I can't even see that, you know? Sometimes you can't. Look at that. Wait, I'm going to try to stop it when it's not black so we can take a look. Oh, there we go. So what is it that can't be rendered here? I don't understand. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Oh, there, <laughs> there was a little post there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> E-bikes, guys. E-bikes. Look at that. I'm going to pretend I am a bike. They're, they're above us. And here. Okay. <laughs> All right. I, I try. <laughs> that went horribly. Okay. I'm, I'm just... I just want to go, honestly. Can I drive this? Of course not. Oh, damn it. Okay. Where? Where? There he is. One of them. I hit him. That's a win in my book. <laughs> we won, guys. This is it. Let's just throw this out. <laughs> and finally, Far Cry 3. We're playing this at the 720p resolution, DirectX 9, using the low settings. And it is actually pretty good. Look at this. I'm not sure if it's better than the HD 4000, because with that PC, we had an i7. And what what are these dogs doing? And we actually had 2400 megahertz RAM. And that makes a huge difference in Intel HD graphics, because it actually utilizes RAM as VRAM, it's all right, guys. I actually played it with around these FPS, I believe. Maybe a little bit more than that, but I'm fine with this experience, honestly. It's Intel HD graphics, so if you're used to playing with these integrated GPUs, um, I mean, 30 FPS is actually a godsend sometimes. Godsend, yes. So, is this terrible, guys? I mean... Yes, a little bit, especially in newer titles, but if all you do with your PC, and if you have specs like these, of course, is playing like CSGO, Dota 2, uh, a little bit of Valorant, you know, this is actually enough. And of course, there are amazing older titles like Half-Life 2, uh, Left 4 Dead 2, Team Fortress 2 as well, all from Valve, what the heck, uh, League of Legends. Uh, yeah, th those will run absolutely fine on a machine like this with Intel HD graphics 4400. But still, even if you are playing those games and you have a machine like this, um, well, not exactly like this, but with this i3 and 16 or 8 gigabytes of RAM, I think you should buy a GPU for it. Something like a GTX 650 or 750 would go a long way to make this a much better gaming PC. And that's been it for this video. Thank you very much for watching this. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Already, and I'll catch you in the next one very soon. Love you all. Bye-bye.